Let's take a look at some of the new functionality with GrooveAgent 4.2. GrooveAgent's always had incredibly deep integration with Cubase, allowing you to drag and drop audio directly onto instrument pads or drag and drop patterns from the pattern pads onto the project window or from the project window to pattern pads. And we wanted to add some extensive functionality for browsing MIDI files. So if I wanted to come here, I could actually go to my browser and if I have an agent selected like my acoustic agent, I can click right here on a MIDI file and we could have it automatically preview that different MIDI file. If I wanted to listen to a fill, if I wanted a different agent, like more of a beat agent or an, a secondary beat agent. And if I really like that particular pattern, all I have to do is just drag and drop and have that pattern show up directly on a pattern pad. Now, one of the things that was confusing for some of the people was the ability of having two different transport controls. So we had a transport control in Cubase and sometimes people would just select a pattern, hit play, and then not hear it because they would have to uh, either sequence the MIDI note that would trigger the pattern or play the pattern here uh, with the internal transport. So there's now a follow transport which can be activated for each agent. So as I click here, I could just stop and play and have the acoustic agent just follow the main Cubase transport. So if I wanted to bring in like a percussion agent, let's go ahead and we'll just bring the volume down of that just a little bit. And let's select just a transport of our beat agent and yet another beat agent to stop. And if I wanted to toggle the status of the follow transport, just simply hold down the shift key and click here and that would do it across all of the agents. Now when working with patterns, you could have up to 128 different patterns uh, on different pads and you could stack four patterns together simultaneously. So uh, it allowed for a tremendous amount of flexibility but sometimes you would be kind of limited to all of the patterns that you wanted to play simultaneously to be on the same MIDI note. And so as we put this into uh, in previous versions, it was basically behaved like a global mode. So if I hit play here and I switch patterns, it would switch all of the agents to different patterns. But now there's a, a different mode where we could say, okay, let's just turn these all on. So I'm going to hit play in Cubase here. And now if I wanted to have different pattern just on my acoustic agent, which I have selected. So if I want to do a drum fill, or go to my percussion agent, now each pattern could be individually switched per agent. Now the most requested feature that I've seen on Groove Agent 4 was the ability of taking these great patterns that someone has painstakingly programmed for you and being able to record that as MIDI. So if we, once you instantiate Groove Agent 4.2, you actually will have different MIDI inputs. So we'll see MIDI input one, two, and three, and four for each of the kits. So if I wanted to record, uh, and we'll just solo this uh, agent for now. So if I just wanted to record, from this particular agent and switch my patterns. Or let's say if I wanted to now select an acoustic agent, and we'll just solo that. And this is really ideal for a lot of the agents that have different variations, especially like the percussion and the acoustic agent. So when I go to edit this particular pattern, I could have my different levels of complexity so if I want this pattern to be more complex or to be kind of softer, or just to have kind of natural variations that were kind of random at every bar, this is now all captured in the MIDI domain here. So if I want to do a drum fill, or switch to halftime, halftime, 
And let's say I want to switch to uh, my percussion agent now. And what's great about the percussion agent is you can take each of these individual elements here. So let's say we'll start off with just our congas. Let's say we'll start with this pattern here. So as soon as I turn this off, this stops the MIDI note from being transmitted. So now I could just have those congas. And if I wanted those to have kind of random levels of complexity, or if I wanted it to be double speed, or bring in other percussion elements. And again, all this randomness is now captured completely in the MIDI domain. Now, something that was really handy, there was another very heavily requested feature from a lot of people, especially in the R&B community, is this ability of a new performance mode that we call note repeat. So if I wanted to come here, we could actually just trigger different note repeat patterns. So I'm going to select just a particular uh, sound set here for the instruments. And let's say I wanted to find just uh, my hi-hat for this. So we'll just go ahead and solo just a hi-hat. Now I'm going to trigger this from my software MIDI keyboard. And when I hit a C5 note, I could actually have this trigger a a different rhythmic value here in repeat. So now as you do this, you be aware of that you can have kind of the pattern MIDI input coming from the agent itself, but the fills, you might want to set it to all MIDI inputs so that it's actually coming from different controllers. So just to kind of give you an idea, if I hit the C5 note on my software keyboard on my hi-hat, so I just have that kind of playback that sample there. But as soon as I do this, I could just set my rhythmic value. So let's say, okay, I want that to be 16th notes. I can now just... Now, if I wanted to have kind of different variations, I could just kind of come here and say, okay, I wanted just this pattern. So now when I play this... And if I wanted to reverse that pattern, I could just click on reverse. Or let's say double that pattern or set a different pulse. Now, if I go to a different MIDI note and we can have eight different variations here, I could just say, or to another one. So now if I wanted to record both the beat from this agent, as well as my different patterns, I come right here. So, and the beauty of this is now I could actually just select all of these different agents and enable them for record. And even with my note repeat, come right here. And be able to have a tremendous amount of flexibility. So if we think about the enhancements with the MIDI file, browsing with the real-time preview, being able to have uh, enhanced transport controls, more flexibility with the pattern arrangements, being able to record the MIDI data intelligently directly into the system, plus having the note repeats. The Groove Agent 4.2 is a really compelling upgrade to an already award-winning package.